Refocusing the National Service Scheme to meet the needs of the increasingly dynamic world. Government through the scheme wants to maximize the potentials found in an existing opportunity. How to instill national values in the youth and support them to become responsible adults in future. The government of the day identifies the National Service Scheme as an all-embracing platform for training the youth. It does so through postings which exacts sacrifice and service. The NSS is the vehicle through which the youth can experiment on classroom theory in the field of work. A kind of bridge between the conventional classroom and the real world. National service has broken new grounds as it has promoted agriculture very well in the eyes of the youth. While that is deliberate, Management of the service has also put up a strong defense of postings, insisting that the service is required to make extra hands available or fill certain gaps in critical areas of Ghana's economy. Now, let us go to Abutiakota in the Volta region, where we shall begin the journey through national service farms. Through this, the government has attempted to revive the concept of state farms. In 2009, when it all started, Abutiakota became one of the points where the concept has since been piloted. With nine service personnel and 21 local volunteers, National Service plunged into business at Abutiakota. We have 100 acres, and so in the minor season, we plan to increase it to 150 acres. And then by the next farming season, it may go to 200. The Stony Earth tested the endurance of the servers. Custodians of the land tenure system were given a run for their money as the service negotiated its way out of the bottleneck. In 2009, we started looking for land. We were not able to get because of the land tenure system in the region. But through our collaboration with the Minister of Agri, we were able to get this land, which is an abandoned uh, state farm. We have some few structures that we've also rehabilitated. When we started, we realized that there were a lot of stones on the farm. And so we couldn't do the plowing until we gathered and collected all the stones. So we brought national service personnel from the districts that are nearby who helped in the collection of the stones. After the collection, we started the plowing, but the stones were still disturbing us. And so often the machines have to break down, we we'll remove the parts, send them to home for repairs. We used the national service personnel also in the planting. Because of the stones, we couldn't use planters, and so we had to use manpower. When we planted, we had no rains. About three weeks, there was no rain. Unfortunately, the very day that our executive director visited the farm, we had our first rain, which was a blessing to us. And since then, the crops have been doing well. We have done the spraying, and when it came to the application of fertilizer, we brought the service personnel from all over. And through their participation, some of them became very interested. Some even asked if they could get land to maybe do their own demonstration farms. The work itself invoked the communal spirit of the local people and, in particular, ensured that service personnel accepted postings which evoked the core values of the service, that is, service to community. We were posted on NSS's Agri project, but we lamented because most of us wish to be in the uh, like MOFA and other places where we can easily get unemployment. I will just tell some of my colleagues in school and others who are doing the national service that Agri Project is a very lucrative job. So we shouldn't only rely on office work, but we should also come to the field and at least practice what we have learned in the classroom. National service store called Agri Plant 
planting was done in April. In the minor season, up to 150 acres of land were cultivated. In the next season, the Abutiakota acreage is expected to be increased to 200. Whilst cultivation was going on, the management of the National Service Scheme, NSS, was busily working on the ancillaries of the project, such as residential quarters for NSS personnel and a warehouse abandoned in the 1970s when the state farms collapsed. We have currently posted nine National Service personnel who are permanently on the farm. But because we don't have any place for them to stay, we have to convey them from the various villages to the farm every day. Now we are renovating this room to be used as a hostel. Our volunteers do not stay here, they stay in the town, so we have to employ some security men. But when some National Service personnel come, they are resident here, we will not have any problem about uh, overseeing the farm. So we are happy, we have got the beds, we have got the mattresses, we are only waiting for light to be connected and also water so that they can move in. National Service Scheme in its third attempt made the strongest impression yet, cultivating 300 acres at its Ibum field at Ejura in the Shanti region. The major season in 2012 saw the preparation of land in February, starting with planting on field one. In tackling the job, farmhands came face to face with the vicissitudes of farming. This is the major season 2012. We started the land preparation in February. That is the second week of February we started spraying. We sprayed uh, broad spectrum glyphosate and that actually reduced the weeds. After two weeks, that's the end of February, we started plowing. We did the first plow. Then uh, we had to wait for about three weeks. Then we did second plow and harrow. The varieties we actually planted are two. We have Pana 53 hybrid and Pioneer. The boom lands at the Jura is big and sloppy. Soil erosion is the main problem here. High moisture content of seas required drying. However, any shortcomings in the drying process could create fungus and aflac toxins, according to the experts. The field is very big and it's sloping, so we have a lot of um, erosion uh, taking place and that will also wipe out some of the, of the plants. We are trying to create uh, roads in the field so that uh, we will be able to control it. There are a lot of termites on the, on the field and um, if it rains, what happens is that uh, during harvesting, uh, the termites will be eaten into the plants. So you may even have a whole block where you may not even have 20% of the expected yield. Farm managers say for the 300 acres and 400 acres of land cultivated in the major and the minor seasons of 2012 at NSS Ejira Farms only suggest expansion in the project. For this reason, a case was made for the supply of modern agricultural logistics such as planters, tractors, combined harvesters and sprayers to facilitate operations. As I see I have done 350 acres and I have done a super brewery. As I have seen soon in Asso, a super, a bronze in Yamia, I have a few of Bruna, I have come up, I have a bronze in Yamia, 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 this is especially so as the wide expanse of cultivated land at Ejira is managed by a farm manager and only a few service personnel of about 13. We are into full cultivation of maize. This year, 2012, we cultivated 300 acreage. What I normally do, I give them the practical idea in general agriculture management. And secondly, agronomic practice, such as planting, fertilizer application, machine maintenance, tractor operating. Aside that, I train them 
in record keeping, general supervision. Most local to come here to learn from what we are doing here. At first when we were in school, we were taught about tractor, but I don't know how to ride a tractor. It's here I came to learn the tractor. Most of the equipment here too, we don't have some at schools. Here I came to see some, and I also did some practicals with it. So I think I've learned a lot. The boom sprayer, though I've read it in books, but I've not seen some before. Here I came to see one. This place is going to really help us to set up our own businesses and farms so that the nation will move on. Because agriculture is the backbone of this country, and we all know. So if you all, we the agriculture student can just come back to the soil and do what we, are, what we have to do, I think this nation will move on. We gathered a lot of experience when we came here. We have also no number of kilos that can be planted on an acre, a number of mills for the chemicals that can be used. We, are, we have gathered a lot of experience how to drive a tractor. So, so far, I can establish my own enterprise without any guide after here. I have learned a lot, um, beginning from land preparation to the planting of the maize itself through to harvesting, bagging and packaging. I believe it has helped me a lot that in future when I'm given any chance to manage a farm, I believe with this experience I can go far. As a vet, I believe my coming here is going to help me a lot because I'll have to know when exactly to prepare the food for my animals to get feed to feed. It's a good idea for a graduate to be posted at a farm, especially a graduate student. I'm saying this because money is in the soil. You need not to be relying on the government or the offices. Uh, since you, uh, you have the knowledge in agriculture, you can do some small-scale farming to be able to get something out of it. At Branham, near Wenchi in the Bonafo region, the National Service Scheme simply re-enacted state farms which collapsed in the 1970s. Existing infrastructure which were rotten away were put in good shape and in a show of extraordinary tenacity, the National Service Scheme was able to fertilize lands which were acidic with animal manure. Because the soil is not all that good, because we are told by the expert that the land is acidic, the soil structure is not the best for the cultivation of meat. And we, in order to improve that, we need to apply manure. And this is exactly what we are doing. We engage the service personnel from the other districts who converge here at regular intervals to assist and support in the application of the fertilizer, the manure, and also the picking of the stamps that we have gathered on the farm. At Branham Wenchi Farms in the Brunoff region, you see the sophistry with which the enterprise is undertaken, a well-measured step which sparks renewed faith in the once abandoned agricultural enterprise. As youth who are being out of school, we also have learned a lot from the farms. Yes. We've now been motivated to go into agri after our national service. And we are also contributing towards the buffer stock project, which the current administration is embarking on. So I'm sure that my colleagues over here too, when we leave, each and every one maybe after this service may also be interested in getting into yes, agriculture. Yes, yes. And I've learned a lot of experience on this farm. I've never been to the farm before, so this has told me that farming is not just meant for the villagers. Students and graduates can also involve themselves into farming because we have a lot of fertilizers and manures in the system. We always, all the time, we dispose them of. Meanwhile, we can, we can make good use of them. Now, my service person, that posted from University of Ghana, Legon. I did Bachelor of, Bachelor of Science at Greek, with service to be specific. Um, initially, when I was posted to have my studies on this farm, I think it was quite a difficult decision to make, having to come to the farm and then work on the farm. Specifically, I think some experiences I have had as far as the, pro the program is concerned is that I never knew how to even operate a tractor. When I, when I came here, I had the opportunity to operate a tractor. I had the opportunity to know a lot of chemicals that are used on the farm. I just want to tell them that what we learn from school is quite different from what we have on the field. Comparatively, I think I'm more equipped and then I can see myself more as an, an agreed graduate than I used to be. I did mechanization option. So when I came here, I actually applied that knowledge that I acquired from the school, like doing plowing, harrowing, and others. This fertilizer application, we, we did it our own self. People think we who are in the farm here, we, we are actually suffering but we are gaining practical knowledge. I will encourage everybody no matter 
which institution that you come from, you have to also bring your quota to the development of Ghana.